Okay, I cannot believe I ever would ever do that, but uh, loser says. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess it's better than calling it loser's top eight. Well, either way, we have these two wonderful people in today's top eight. This was a very, very interesting bracket today. Off stream upsets happen being Jordan, our local Puff Villager player, beating Dantu. And. BSP beating Travis Schreer, I think, the third time in a row. I don't know how often those two play, but uh, I do know that that's another win on his belt. <laughs> I'm sure. And then Chris did beat BSP to get here. I don't know anything about Momo's bracket, but um, I do know that these two, I, I, I consider them great friends of each friends together. They team in doubles constantly, or consistently, that's the word I was looking for, with double warrior and great memes. But, uh, in bracket, I think the set record is mostly in Chris's favor, but Sam won a recent set. I think it, I think it was something like that. But, yeah. Um, when I think about the matchup, up close, Sheik is probably going to be able to pressure Warrior really well, especially when Warrior is in shield with the fast, really fast swing, like, holy. Yeah, that's very quick. And I'm seeing Momo also capitalizing on Ma's jump in disadvantage with up tilt, I see. Okay. It's actually somewhat close match right now. I wasn't paying attention to the clock, but I know this Wario player was. He did use a half waft, which won't kill now. But, oh my gosh. Okay, good awareness of Momo. Okay, that, that was a really weird situation with the extended hitboxes and all that. Very good awareness of Momo to shield, and now get yeah, the ledge. Okay, that force match was very risky. He avoids that walk, which I think wasn't even a half walk, but that's gonna be it. Very good pressure with the jab one. Addition to shield, and Ma takes game one in a very close match. So much happening there. All at once. This is actually awful. I'm changing this. I'm sorry. I hate whoever does. I hate the person who invented loser sevens. That's so bad. Why would you do that? Why would you call a bracket sevens? Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Anyway, get that out of here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad for that. Okay. Game two. Momo's gonna take us to final destination. And uh, we'll see what goes here. Momo getting some damage in there, and then Ma knocking him away. I feel like she can really capitalize on Wario jumping, so I feel like that's something that Ma has to stop doing, or he's going to take consistent damage for it. Almost definitely figured that out very quickly. I think it also doesn't help that- I think Wario's jump height, it doesn't look very uh, high. So that's why it would also get caught very easily. Okay. If I do remember correctly, uh, Waft comes in full around 450. I cannot accurately say that. I believe the timer counts as soon as 3 2 1 starts, so. I cannot say for sure though. Okay. Very good on Momo's part. Moth forced low and now high. He chooses to go. Very smart. To avoid any more pressure. Right. Momo does read the air dodge, but he does not find the answer there. Okay. Get some stuff up right there. I'm not gonna get down in let time to land and punish. Okay, needling him into the into the corner. He's in a very good spot here. Yes, he will clean up Saga. Nice stuff. Right, Momo. Well, does have him at the ledge, and Waft is almost ready. So I feel like at this point. When you when you have Waft to be have so much damage, you have other options. Wario's gonna have a hard time killing, you would think probably. Yeah, C410. I was actually kind of I was actually correct. It's interesting, but um, I don't know if I'm necessarily factoring him eating stuff as well. So it could have been later on. Okay, very good stuff on Moss right there. He made that actually pretty effortless, and now because Sheik is light. This is actually going to be difficult for her in comparison to Wario because just a few hits and Sheik is in Waft confirmed kill percent. Very scary, yeah. Alright. 
Momo, Momo is definitely gonna respect this walk, I feel like. I just wonder how Maw is gonna take advantage of that. He really does not want to get close to Wario at all. Needling him dashing in. Okay. Very good that Mo Momo faded off stage there. Ma could have Ma had him in a 50-50 situation with that. Oh my god! Very good tech for Momo. I saw that waft coming and so did Momo. Thank goodness he reacted in time for that. Right? So I have to get the read. He is able to cover him going back. Okay. Ma, Momo off stage. Okay. I'm actually a bit nervous about a uh, rage backer killing Chief right now. Wario with his bike. He will not use it, mixing up his recovery to go low. I agree with this very much. Momo's let him go high a couple times now out of that. Yes, good recognition on Ma's part that he has the man grab. Oh my god, Bobo, I can tell he's nervous. Ooh, jeez, this is scary now. This is really, really scary. Oh my gosh. Okay. The one thing that I've seen from Momo that's common collective is these grabs coming out from him. That's going to not kill. Holy Moses. Okay. Quick hit to knock away Wario. He has no waft, but this doesn't matter anymore. It really doesn't. Mod's patience has definitely allowed this set to get this close. Mom tries to cover that with the upper, does not find it, and finds himself running into Wario's invincible forward tilt. And Mod is now up to him. Wow, um... I really think his Sheik is good for this, but he's having trouble killing, I'm noticing as well, and I think he recognizes that too. He probably felt like he had that, just went for the wrong reads, and Ma, Ma escapes unscathed in those situations. However, Captain Falcon does have much more kill power in a lot of his options, can land them a bit more reliably. Probably could threaten Wario better than Sheik could too, honestly. Sheik has a lot of up-close, fast pressure, right? Falcon has a lot of quick damage out of every punish. That's pretty much guaranteed for the most part. <laughs> okay, Bobo takes game three with that up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> right, um... But this is a very interesting matchup that I don't see very often because we don't really have a Falcon here. There's no Falcons that Chris plays online, either, that I know very well. I know he has this mentality about Falcon players, though, is that they'll always dash in. I want to see Momo show that that's not true. He has the stock lead, why not hold, pace, hold, hold on to that? Because he can, without having to approach, right? Well, that's not going to matter, some great pressure at the ledge. He's going to force that situation, and Momo not getting the tech right there. This is back to a pretty close standpoint. Oh, he does not get the falling upper. Okay. Okay. He's empty off getting grabbed. Ma recognizes that he's not really doing anything with that mobility there, other than trying to bait him with the, move with the movement. Right. Jumping over the bike. Okay, catches the jump off the ledge. That covers so many options depending on the spacing too. Wario's bite on the ledge. Pretty good. Oh. 
does avoid the Falcon Kick. Going for a very committal option, though, to try to get back to stage. And Ma is able to react quick enough to it. Oh gosh, why did you shield there? Um, because Warrior's Bite wouldn't kill it, actually. Oh my gosh, yep. See, that, that move is invincible. We'll beat that out. Marat takes that 3-0. That was actually a very, very... That was Wario said, I would say. Like, if I would say that was odd, it was because Wario is just beautiful and perfect. That closes the set, Ma. Continues on into top five today.